what is up guys and we are back with another video and as you guys can tell by the title in this video we're going to be seeing if my man Zhongli can one shot Dvalin. You guys have seen Ganyu do it, you guys have seen Child do it, you guys have even seen Mona do it probably, I'm not even sure. But the thing with those characters is they benefit from elemental reactions which basically doubles their damage, right? Unfortunately, Zhongli has the worst elemental reaction in the game, which is Crystallize, which I think should be removed from the game, or at least changed in some way, but it is what it is. And now you're probably thinking, well, Shao can one-shot Dvalin. Technically, he can't because he has to spam his E ability, so it's not one-shot. We're gonna see if we can kill him in one Meteor. That's it. I have no idea if we can even do it. And you guys are seeing, you're like, oh, I see Bennett and Mona on your team, so you're probably gonna cheese your way to do this. Well... They're there if I have to use them. So what I mean by that is I'm going to go in Zhongli by himself and see how much damage I can do just with his Meteor. I'm guessing around 90k, something like that. And then if we don't one-shot him, which I don't think we will, I'm going to go ahead and use Mona. And then with Mona, if we still can't one-shot him, we'll add Bennett on and then do the whole, you know, normal com combo that people do. We're going to try to steer away from food as far as my stats go. So this is my Zhongli right here. And you know, Zhongli is my main. I've mained him since day one, since he came out, so I had to. You guys already knew I had to give him the Refinement 5 Staff of Homa. This is his best weapon by far. I would I would be disrespecting my man Zhongli if I didn't Refinement 5 this weapon. And I got super lucky. That's the reason I went for it, because I got back-to-back -back 10 pulls twice, which was amazing. Because as you guys can see, I have 2700 attack, and that's because of this weapon's passive. This weapon's passive is insane. It increases my HP by a lot, and then it gives me a boost based on my max HP. Okay, in terms of my artifacts right here, I'm running two-piece Noblesse and two-piece Archaic. I have 212 crit damage and almost 50% crit rate. And most of that crit damage is coming from this weapon right here. That's what makes this weapon absolutely broken. It gives you an insane amount of crit damage. It has a pretty high base attack and it gives you an attack boost. The only thing I had to worry about was crit rate. Okay, and, and you guys are probably thinking, well, in a real scenario, you, you don't even have 50% crit rate. So this is probably not ideal. Well, the thing is, I usually pair my Zhongli with GOMC. And if you guys don't know, GOMC's burst actually gives you 10% crit rate. So when my Zhongli is paired with the GOMC, I have close to 60% crit rate, which is more than enough. Okay, with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the Dvalin fight. Again, we're not going to use Mona and Bennett first. We're just going to use Zhongli by himself and see how much damage he can do. And then we'll go from there. I don't think we'll be able to one-shot it. But... You never know. It's, I mean, we hit 11k with our hold E, which is kind of ridiculous. 140k, oh my goodness. That's without any uh, buff or anything. We got pretty close, 140k, I did not expect that at all. So I'm going to try it with just Mona and then see if that works. And keep in mind, my Mona doesn't have Noblesse Oblige. She literally has nothing. Um, yeah, she's just there for the burst. I mean, I can put Noble Oblige on her, but we'll just see how this goes first. Okay. 195,000. Okay, so we most definitely don't need Bennett at all. Oh my goodness. I'm pretty sure if we have the Noblesse set on Mona, we can do it. Okay, so I just gave Mona some random artifacts. Gave her the Noblesse set. Okay, please. Jungle, please crit. We did it. Let's go. 210,000. We one-shot Dvalin. And we didn't need Bennett. Wow, I can't believe that we actually managed to pull that off without Bennett Mona cheese I guess 50% of the cheese with Mona but the thing is like even without Mona we did like a hundred and forty something 140k damage I think it was like 147 that's absolutely ridiculous and the thing is this isn't something that you guys have to like set up you know because most like one shot videos you see they have like a Mona set up a Bennett set up and it's not something you're actually going to do in like the Spiral Abyss or something like that the special thing about Zhongli is this is a normal team you can run for him. Obviously, you don't even need Bennett. You can put whatever you want in that fourth slot. But just having Zhongli, and I didn't even use my GOMC, so I didn't even get that additional 10% crit rate. But this is a normal team. Zhongli, GOMC, and then Mona, and, or whoever you want. 
even if you don't have Mona, you're still doing a massive amount of damage. And the crazy part is, and I mentioned this at the beginning of the video, unlike most characters that can one-shot Devalin, such as Ganyu, Child, etc, etc, those characters have reactions that basically double their damage. The thing with Zhongli is, he doesn't benefit from any re I mean, he has Crystallized, which I mentioned earlier, which sucks. It doesn't boost my damage at all. And the fact that a character that, that has no reactions can one-shot Devalin with just one ability is absolutely nuts. And it just goes to show how great he is and how great this freaking weapon is because it provides so much crit damage and so much attack. I know I mentioned Xiao earlier and how Xiao can easily kill Devalin too, but the thing you have to keep in mind with Xiao, who, by the way, is like an amazing DPS, but that's what he is. He is a DPS. Zhang Li, he is everything. He can be whatever you want. Xiao is meant to deal damage, but at the cost of his life, and he dies pretty easily unless you guys have a healer. Zhongli doesn't need no healer, you know, he is the healer, if you guys have C6. If you guys don't have C6, it doesn't matter. His shield is so strong, like, you can't even break it. And then by the time they break it, you just put on another shield, and... Wow, that camera angle. And you're just chilling. And that's the thing with Zhongli, right? He deals massive damage with his burst, so you can build him as a burst support, or like a burst sub-DPS, or you can build him as a physical DPS, which you guys saw in my previous video, and he does absolutely insane in there. And he keeps your team alive with his shield, like, he does basically everything and he really got boosted with the staff of homa because as you guys saw in my physical dps video with the staff of homa i was doing and in that video i was refinement one right but my refinement one staff of homa in a physical dps build when use my burst i was doing a little less damage than my full geo build with jade spear max stacks i know i said a lot there but just just imagine that right that's just how that's how crazy this weapon is and it just made my guy super uber SSSS tier and I'm glad about it. Anyway, that's all I had for this video guys. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you guys want to see anything else, but that's pretty much it. See you guys.